This tutorial is on how to create an iWeb website outside of the templates which Apple gives you. So let's get started by opening your iWeb up. Uh, once iWeb is open, go to File, Create a New Site. Uh, when the New Site option opens, uh, the different templates, you need to choose the template which best fits your design in regards to the navigation, the color, the font, and all of that. As I, uh, as I understand right now, you cannot create a navigation. Um, you have to use what is in their template. So for my design, this black theme works the best. Um, then choose the blank one, whatever theme. Open it up. We'll start by getting, getting rid of uh, the different elements. We do not need the text in that little line leaving just the navigation here. Once we do that, uh, we're gonna to start to construct our own template. Um, I recommend going into Photoshop and creating an exact replica to the pixel uh, and 72 resolution, all of that of the website, and then cutting it into slices, the header, the content area, and the footer, um, and then the background area. So my design, uh, let's pull in my header. Here it is right here. Into the header area, and that uh, you know you're into, you're dragging your your image into the right area because it highlights with a blue box. Here's the content, here's the footer, here's the header. So we'll drag that in there. Um, when you drag an image in, it's smaller, so you want to come over to the inspector and to the metrics and hit original size. And you'll see that ours doesn't really fit in there because the content width is not set to my design. So we're going to do that right now. By selecting your image, you can go into the metrics area and see the width of that image. So mine's 1120 pixels. We'll copy that. Then we go over to the page layout, uh, and you look here, it says content width. The uh, original default is 700, so we're gonna set it with my new one by pasting. Uh, and then we're also gonna change the content height. Uh, instead of 480, I'd like mine to be 700. This is now my default. Um, so we do that. That looks great. Um, now we have to add the content area. You can see my header here. Uh, but I need to add the content area. So I'm going to do a repeated background of this layer effect I've got on my design. So we do that uh, by coming into the inspector on the page, far left here, page background. You have the option to do just a color or whatever. I'm going to do an image fill. Um, and I'm going to choose. And I've got mine right here. And open. And just make sure everything lines up. There we go. So I have a little sliver that's repeating all the way down, 700 pixels. So now let's add our footer. We come in here, footer one. Once again, blue uh, square or rectangle highlights where you are. Drop mine down into the footer. Have to do the original size. Go to the metrics part. There we go. And we line it up. And uh, with my design to get the footer to line up with this, I have a little fold around here. So I took the content area, actually dropped it down into my footer, and then cut it above that so it fits just perfectly and snug it in. That will be up to you and your discretion how you want to do that. So we kind of have a, <clears throat> a template here, but um, this background color is not matching. Um, so I'm going to go back into the inspector, into the page, and then do the back uh, browser background color. You could do a repeated pattern for my design. It's just a color, so I'll choose uh, in the uh, magnifying glass here, find the color I want to replicate, and there we go. So we've got a, a nice little template here. Now I want to start adding content. <clears throat> so I've created some page dividers and some headers and things like that. So I'm going to start to drag those in, show you how this works. Um, we'll start with the top header. Once again, every time you bring it in, you have to go to the metrics and click original size to get it to the pixels that you designed it for. Um, now I'm going to add some text here, so you just click the text box. You can faintly see it here. Um, you come in and copy-paste your text in, or you can write it. Uh, I recommend bringing it into a Word document, getting the correct grammar. You see how it expands the uh, content area automatically. It's a little too big, so we're going to drag this to size. That looks great. Bring it over here, have it match our banner, kind of line it up where you want it. Now I'm going to add another divider. This is all just a part of however you want to design it. Um, you can do it any way you want. Whenever you drag that item in, just make sure that it's in the right section. Always resize it. Um, I'm going to add some more content. So I'm going to copy this and paste it because it's a nice size. 
drop it down, pushes the content area, keep everything lined up real nice. And then I've got a image here, a picture, and how you do that is you just, to the exact size that you want it, and just drag it into the content area. Make sure it's the original size. My design, I have it snugged up against there. Looks great. I'm going to show you quickly how to add a YouTube video. Uh, you can do it either through the little YouTube widget there. Uh, I prefer the HTML widget. Drop it in there. Take your coding from YouTube. I added a little border. That's why I chose this. It's nice here. Drop it in. Hit apply. There we go. We got a nice little YouTube video. And bring it down. Line it up. You can see it's starting to really fall together here, it's starting to look really nice. Um, so I've got my main content area, now I want to add a secondary content area. So I'm going to use a, a little divider. Uh, how my design calls for is a thin line, so I'm just going to create one within iWeb. Go into the uh, graphics, here's a line color, change it to a light gray. Then I'm going to Grab it and hit, while hitting shift, I'm going to readjust it and that keeps it perfectly straight. And then snug it up to that line. There, it looks good. Now I'm going to make my side area, because you can't really create little divs, what we have to do is just manually create it. So I've got a little past event sponsor icon here and I'm going to make sure it's the original size. There we go, looks good. I've got some other stuff. I'm going to create a little editable area. Um, so I created a, a tiny banner um, and then we'll just drag that over the upcoming events. Just make sure that it's the original size. And then to separate the content areas, uh, I'm going to use a little shape tool here. Just snug it up to my little banner I made in Photoshop. Extend it. Probably gonna have to be about that big, I would say. Kind of eye things up here. It does line it up for you, which is kind of nice automatically. I'm gonna add a content area. There it is right there, it's really faint. Sometimes you miss those, they're hard to see. Here's my upcoming events, I've already got that typed out. Drop it over here, paste it, resize it. That looks great. And then we'll line it up. And you kind of manually just made a little side menu bar. It's pretty easy. It's not the most dynamic, but it definitely is the cheapest solution if you're on a budget. Um, so then I also created a little um, advertisement I wanted to show you and how to link that. So let's drag this down, make room for it. Get my little banner I made. Here it is. An event that's coming up, make sure it's the right size. And to create a hyperlink, you just have the image selected, come over to your inspector, create this little blue arrow, it's called links. Enable link, drop your uh, URL where you want it. Make sure that the link is not active because then you won't be able to adjust this later um, while you're in this uh, iWeb interface. So I got my link in there, it's all good, it's good to go. The last piece you wanna make sure is that this image that you put in for the header in the header area is in the back, so send it to the back which opens up this navigation here. So with the navigation, as you add pages, that navigation grows, that's how iWeb works. So you can just right click, duplicate, uh, and then you have all this content area, you can adjust it, you have your secondary, or your side menu bar here, you can add and remove things. As you name this, it renames the navigation up top. It's real slick. And that's, the, uh, that's how you build an iWeb website outside of the templates which they give you. Here's this site created, fully done. The homepage, hyperlinks are active. Here's my second area, I actually created another template. You have the liberty to do whatever your design calls for. Um, then I actually created a contact form within iWeb. Uh, one last thing to note is that your navigation, um, each page your navigation lays separately. So I would recommend creating a template and then just duplicating it across otherwise you'll have to eye up the template or excuse me the navigation. I always make sure that this image and the header is on the back and iWeb layers things so whatever you bring in last uh, most recently brought in is on the top of the stack so just make sure you order the stack correctly uh, if you run into any issues.